guys. Just the overhead camera today, no other shots. Um, because it's kind of an experiment day. We've got our little eight by eights, the little Michael's value packs going. Um, what I'm gonna do is, since I had such a surprising reaction with the Lucas Krill uh, paints, I thought, and school glue, the school glue pouring medium, I thought I would try it again uh, in a flip cup and see if it was just a one-off or if that's kind of a natural reaction that I'm always going to have with them. But I also want to test out a gift that an art angel sent me. This is Mixed Media Girl Pouring Medium. And I didn't even know she had her own pouring medium out. So this is going to be fun and I'm going to test it with the same exact colors. And um, yeah, we'll have one that is school glue pouring medium and the other will be mixed media girl pouring medium so we can yeah see how they how, how they play okay um the colors again are we've got arctic we've got mint We've got indigo, love this color. We've got raw umber, my favorite. And we have Prussian blue. And those are what we are going to be layering our cups with. And I'm going to try and layer them exactly the same. Right there, right there. Okay, this was the mixed media girl one. So, let's see, what do we want to start with? I kinda wanna start with a dark color. So, let's go with our, not too dark. Let's go with our Prussian blue first. Ooh, static in those cups made the little, made it all kinda stringy along the side. I like that, that's cool. Okay, and um, let's see, let's go with, this is the Arctic. I did mix the Arctic just a little bit thicker this time, just because when we did tidal pool, the Arctic sank on us. So, and I don't really want that to happen again. All right, this is the indigo. Such a gorgeous color. And then, let's see, let's go with the raw umber. Okay. And I'm going to put that there just so I know. Let's see, let me arrange these. There's this one, it, this one, this one, this one, and then our mint. And our mint on top. Mmm. Mint, that light, light green, next to that kind of gray chocolatey color. It's so gorgeous. Alright. Here we go. So that was that one. Now, school glue. The school glue colors. Let's see. We had <laughs> rearranging jars. Sorry, I wasn't prepared for class today. Let's see. We had the Prussian first. Then we had the Arctic. Then we had the Indigo. Then we had the umber, and then we have the mint. Okay, let's get started layering this one. All right. Just that one is reacting to the static. None of the other colors got stringy and freaked out along the cut from it. 
odd. It must be some kind of element in the pigment that's really reactive to it. Okay, this is our Arctic, like I said. Mix this one just a little bit thicker, and yes, it is staying on top of the Prussian. Awesome. Okay, and then the indigo is what we have next in the other one. Yep, this cup's gonna be a little fuller. I guess I haven't been watching the amounts. Okay, oops. There. And the mint. Yummy, yummy mint. Blue, I can tell because it's the fullest one. And this was our mixed media girl one. So let me check. Yep, yeah, mixed media girl. Here we go. Sploosh. And this is going to be too much. Sploosh. All right. <laughs> so that one is that one. And I'll put this one out so you can see. What I'm doing with that one, that's the Elmer's School Glue Pouring Medium. It is mixed 70% school glue, 30% water, and then shake to the point of insanity. And I mix that, one part paint, two parts pouring medium. This, the directions also say, mix one part paint, two parts pouring medium. So, they're equal on amounts. All right, let's try this. Ooh, wanna see the cup? It's really pretty in there. Very pretty in there. I did not add silicone to any of these. Okay, let me grab my torch. Got some air bubbles. air bubbles. Lots of air bubbles. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a minute and do this one. Up. It's very minty and I'm flowing over. Okay, those were not air bubbles. I was going for that one little air bubble and the little teeny cells came back again. Yep. There, those are air bubbles. That little cluster is not. <laughs> oh, this is, whoa, those are not air bubbles. This is so cool. Yeah, hello. Okay. Yeah, something about, it's got it. Ooh, look at that, look at those. Oh my gosh, look at that. From the school glue. Holy moly. Okay, I'm gonna keep touching over here. Okay. Come on. 
Oh, I'm getting some brown to come up lightly. It's not as quickly reactive as this one is. Huh, wow. Okay, let's try and walk this out without getting them too wonky. Okay, back, 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 back. Wow, 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 wow. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, get that chunky off. There you go. Come on, there. Oh, I got a little wonky. Let's see if I can straighten them back out. Wow. Y'all. Y'all, look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes, I did. I got it. Okay, good. Wow. Now, I had a bunch of you during title pool. I had a bunch of you telling me that um, you guys actually use some of these Lucas Krill paints for cell activator. I was like, wow, okay, I did not know that. Because I don't do a lot of bloom blooms, you know. So I thought that was pretty cool and informative. Thank you for letting me know that. And I guess I didn't get it all out. Hopefully I do now. I hope. There we go. Okay, I am just going to let that sit. Wow. Wow. Okay. And let's see, let's torch this one one more time just to see if we can get anything up besides the little air bubble measles. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to over torch, so. All right, let's go ahead and stretch it out. I dropped a little speck of water on it right there. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that blended it in and made it okay.
Yeah, not as cellulicious as the school glue pouring medium. They really react in that school glue pouring medium. kind of beachy though, doesn't it? In its own way. So. Okay. Get out of the corners. Touched up. Missing some paint. There we go. All right. Give him one more little torchy torchy, and we will let him sit and see how it dries. I am curious to see because there's not much odor to the mixed media girl pouring medium, which is really nice. But there is like a faint odor of um, like a gloss varnish in it. So. I got a feeling this is going to dry really nice and um, pretty. I have to give it one more torch because I still see air bubbles in it. And I'm seeing a few little air bubbles right in through here. So, yeah, I'm going to torch that area a little bit more too. All right. These are fun experiments. I love trying new products. See you back here when they're dry. Hey guys, we're back with the dry results and you can definitely see a difference already. Um, look at the gloss shine from this. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna really touch it, touch it because it's still a little wet and tacky. Um, we had storms roll in, so there was a lot of humidity. And it slowed down my drying time. But yeah, it dried really nice. It's got a really pretty it looks like it's been varnished. I'll just be honest. It looks like it's been varnished already. Very nice. Very pretty. I'm trying to pick up that sheen, but it's a little hard. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend um, Mixed Media Girl Pouring Medium if you want something that is a little less <laughs> reactive than a school glue. Um, yeah, this dry a little darker, a little duller, as to be expected, but they always pop right back to their glory with a little bit of varnish on them. So, but yeah, the lacing. Oh my God, the lacing. Um, like a bunch of you said that um, Lucas Krill Arctic, I guess, is a really good um, like cell activator. So I am thinking that that is what gave us all those great lacing lines through there and maybe picked up some of the other colors that kind of faded into it but yeah so yeah <laughs> the Lucas Krill with the school glue is very reactive with the mixed media girl pouring medium not so much but wow look at that gloss finish. Uh, I would recommend that you mix up your paints 24 hours ahead of time or at least a few hours ahead of time to try and avoid some of these little um, air bubble pinhole dots if you don't like those. But yeah, I think this would be great 
pouring medium to use for um, those techniques where you just want lines and not a lot of cells like say um, wandering straight pour or tree ring pour things like that so okay well that does it for me please let's all go to acrylic arts with uh, Mary Kirk and then after Mary Kirk, we have got K&K Create, Kristen and Kayla. They've got stuff planned for us tonight also. And then we've got a live later on with Angie Mason, Angie Mason Fluid Arts. So I will see you guys there in the chats. Till next time. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I was informed last night that Deidre Miller, of D's art ha was hospitalized and was in ICU. Um, so I've been praying all night for her and I'm asking that you pray for her too. I did receive some really good news. Angie um, just sent me a text letting me know that um, D's sister Linda emailed her letting us know that she is awake. She is still in ICU but she's coming around and um, things are looking up. But I would still love it if you could send up your prayers, send out your healing vibes. However you request healing for another, please do it. Um, she's so wonderful and lovely and special. And um, yeah, please go check out her channel too. Um, yeah, send, show her some love there. Uh, it's um, Deidre Miller, um, D's Art, and uh, I will put a link in the description and hopefully in this live chat too. So um, thank you all so much if you do that. I super, super appreciate it. And um, yeah, stay safe guys. Tomorrow is never a guarantee. Let... Hmm. <sighs> Let the people you love know it, okay? Love you all. Loves and hugs you all. Stay safe. Bye.